hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video i'm super super excited today is my last scan so i'm right here at the hospital already and yeah i'm just i'm just gonna go for my last scan this is i think it's a 36 week scan um so I'm really looking forward to what they're going to tell me because last time that I came for my scan, I think I was 30 weeks and that's when they told me that baby was breached. So I'm hoping and praying that baby has turned because I'm not looking forward to having a C-section. Although the midwife last time did say, even if baby hasn't turned, a C-section is not that bad and all of that. The thing is, I've never had a C-section before and I'm super scared of having one obviously even if babies turn anything can happen during labor so you just never know but yeah i don't know i don't know i'm really scared so i'm hoping that when i go in now they tell me that baby has turned and is in the right position for um vaginal delivery so yeah very soon and very soon we're definitely going to be meeting this little baby it's crazy how quickly time flies because it still feels like it was yesterday that i got pregnant honestly obviously the first trimester is very slow but then after it goes pretty quick so yeah looking forward to it when i was lost and hopeless when i was at my worst it's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by update i have had my scan and baby has turned and it is such an amazing news um yeah Ouch. sorry i'm such a baby when it comes to this <clears throat> okay guys i'm back from my scan um I tried to update you guys when I was in there, but I got called in. Gosh, I'm so out of breath. Okay. Whew. Let me catch my breath a little bit <laughs> before I give you guys all the gist. Oh, I didn't even take any stairs. It's just walking from that place to the car park, honestly. Yeah, I was saying that I tried to update you guys earlier, but I got called in to do a blood test. So, um, yeah, so I'm done now. So basically what's happened is baby has turned and I'm super, super happy for that because then I can attempt a vaginal birth. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy and I do hope that everything goes well in that regard now the thing that is not necessarily a good really good news is that they said that baby has had a growth a growth spurt in the past six weeks which doesn't really make sense because i'm like i don't know well let me not say it doesn't make sense it's a bit surprising because um like i said guys the last scan that i did i was 30 weeks and they did say that baby was breached and i think the baby weighed only 1.3 kg something like that it was a bit on the smallest side of normal and i remember it was getting me worried because i was like mm, i don't know i normally don't have small babies from my past babies obviously my son was like born at 3.3 three three kg something like that and my daughter was four zero five kg so you can see that i don't really have like small babies like 2.5 kg babies or stuff like that so i was a bit worried because it was some i was really 30 weeks and now six weeks has gone by and that weight has more than doubled the baby is three point what did they even say baby was right now let me even see 3.176 i'm just reading the report 
So baby is 3.176 kg now. So that's more than double in the space of in the space of like six weeks. That's mad. So they are saying that baby is too large for gestational age. Um, so they basically want to test me for gestational diabetes, which I didn't have when I did the 28 weeks test. That was normal. And it's so it's, it sounds like a deja vu because that's the same story that I had with my son uh, when I was pregnant for him. Again, my 28 weeks diabetic check was normal. And then when I went for my 36, I think it was it 36 or 38 eight weeks check. That's when they now found out that I had sugar in my urine and it turned out that I was, I had gestational diabetes. So again, I was brought in, I was booked in for an induction, um, to, prevent like the risk because obviously baby was too big anyways and then he came on his own so this sounds exactly like the same the same thing that happened in the past is exactly the same thing that's happening now so they've just done blood um so i'm gonna wait to hear from from them regards to that and then i have another scan booked in in the next two weeks about two weeks just so they can check um baby growth again and from what they're saying is that if baby hasn't grown more than, I mean, if baby is not like too big, then they will do, they will probably allow me to just go through, like if it's, if it's normal, they allow me to go through all the way to 40 weeks. But obviously if baby has grown a bit more, then, um, they have to book me in for an induction. So to be honest, I don't really mind having inductions because I've had, I've had an induction before. My first came spontaneously. My second, I was induced, but trust me, that was the best experience ever. I know when I say this to people, they're always like, how is that even possible? Because inductions are meant to be like more painful, but trust me, it was the most peaceful birth that I've ever had. Obviously, I had, I've only had two so far, but that was literally the best experience ever. And I wouldn't mind having an induction again if that's going to be like that. Do you get what I mean? Like, it was so, it was so peaceful. I had no, like, let me not say I had no pain. I, I could barely feel anything. Like, it was literally so nice. And I wouldn't mind having that again. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, like I said, guys, it doesn't surprise me because I've kept saying to my sister, I definitely noticed a huge increase in my appetite um, in the past few weeks. And I was telling her, like, I feel like most of the weight of this pregnancy is going to come at the end. Because literally, I just noticed that I was eating a lot more. I was getting hungrier a lot more as well. So I guess it kind of makes sense that they say that baby has, you know, gained weight quite a lot um, in the past six weeks. Because I've definitely noticed that my appetite has been through the roof um recently obviously i've been trying to control it also by eating quite healthy but sometimes you know you just have times when you just want sweet things um so yeah that's basically the situation so i will be back here again in about two weeks to have that scan and then we'll see how things go i'll keep you guys posted i'm gonna go home now this sun is really burning my face right now honestly it's so hot and also because I'm sitting in a car, I haven't got my air conditioner on because I'm trying to talk to you guys. It's going to make so much noise. So I'm going to start the car now, put my air con on and head home. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted with regards to what happens. With regards to what happens with the delivery. But we're literally almost there. So we're looking at 39 weeks um, from what they're saying, like the induction, 39 weeks. So which means in another three weeks or so, baby will be here. <gasps> Oh my gosh honestly anyways i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you for taking part in this little journey this little tiny vlogs that i do need uh, here and there and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye